We have a minute 35 seconds to the next totality, which is right where I'm standing in, of course, Charleston. We just watched it in Columbia, the state capital, and what an extraordinary sight they saw in that stadium. And I've got to tell you, I'm surrounded by an entire, an incredibly gifted crew, but no one is looking at me right now. They are looking at the sky as they should be. They are capturing the moment. They all have their glasses on. And we are standing on the People's Building, appropriately enough, here in Charleston. And I mentioned earlier in the program, President Taft came to this rooftop in the 1920s because it was one of the best views in this great American city. And now we are taking in the great American eclipse, the final stop in a big city, at least, uh, here in the continental United States before this great American eclipse heads out to sea. It is pitch black. You can hear cheers throughout this city. You probably can't hear it at home, but you can hear it as we stand on the rooftop of this building. Uh, we have gone into complete darkness. And we have watched this play out in so many cities across this country before it even got to us. And there is nothing you can do to prepare for it. It is just breathtaking. People are applauding throughout the harbor. And anyone who's ever been to Charleston knows it's one of the prettiest cities in America. They were so excited and so welcoming. Everyone who helped put this production together on this rooftop and they are now taking it in. If we can look up and we can see that we are now in a total eclipse. You can see the corona around the sun, which is one of those rare moments where we here on Earth with the naked eye can actually see that outer atmosphere of the sun, which we all know is a lot warmer than the sun itself. And we're, of course, waiting for, as it now then comes out of totality in about 56 seconds or so, we'll see that diamond ring again. And we've seen it play over and over again. The diamond ring and, the, and Bailey's beads, obviously named after Francis Bailey, the great astronomer who first coined the sunlight peeking its way through the valleys and the craters of the moon. And that's what creates those beads, that beaded effect. And here it comes. We've got 25 seconds left here in Charleston. And you can see how you know, blessed the folks of Charleston are and, and we feel, because look at the cloud cover on the right screen. You can see how many clouds are in the sky. We did not know whether or not this would work for us or not. But we are seeing it. We are seeing it. It's quite it's quite visible to the naked eye. We're watching this with so many scientists who joined us today, former astronauts. I want to bring in Dr. Hakim Olushei. Um, and, and as you take in this image with us, Hakim, what do you make of the fact that we have all been able to witness now the diamond ring we're seeing, the flash of light, as now darkness and nighttime turns back into daylight here in Charleston? What an extraordinary thing to witness. 